tier list, tier list, tier list, tier list. Let's set our middle ground of what we think C tier is, just to kind of set the stage, right? For seafood, cod and haddock, those are like the most basic fish when I think of fish, in my opinion. They're very basic white fish. They're fine. They're fish. They can be good. They're not bad. I think they're just kind of average, right? Mine would be cod and salmon. We'll get to salmon. There's a few different things to salmon. Can you add Dutch pickled, pickled herring? No. So actually, now that you say salmon, we got salmon here. Here's regular salmon. I would say it's also about there. Yeah, regular salmon. However, right here, you see that? Those are salmon locks. It's like smoked cured salmon. Freaking delicious. I love it. It goes definitely A tier. And if you ever put it on a bagel and cream cheese, where are you about to put shrimp? Where am I about to put shrimp? I really like shrimp. I do. I like salmon locks more, so therefore they can't be as hot on the same tier as salmon locks. So therefore, I'm going to throw them in B tier. I love a good shrimp. Nasty ocean rose. Pablo does not like shrimp. I like shrimp a lot. There's one dish that I would put just as high as salmon that my dad makes with shrimp. It's basically he just cuts them up. He like he like butterflies them and then he just coats them in like butter and Ritz crackers as a crust and then he bakes it in the oven and it's so good. The perfect amount of sweet saltiness and butter and just Ah, disgusting. <laughs> so, shrimp B tier. Yeah, so next, these are anchovies, actually. And I think I've only had anchovies once, and I did enjoy them. How much did I enjoy them? I actually don't remember. I feel like they're one of those things where you definitely shouldn't have a meal with them, but like as a little snack, I would probably say B tier, but I don't know. I I'm torn between these two. I'll, p I'll put them there. Can debate, pretty much. If you don't remember, then you should go lower. Well, I mean, okay, I was gonna say, this was back when I was in eighth grade and some people were gonna be like, chef, that was only two years ago. Oh my God, you're such a baby, baby face, chef. No. <laughs> Anyways, I'll put them at low C tier. Uh, I think this is, that is halibut. Okay, that one's halibut. I think I put halibut around there too. Uh, honestly, like all three of these, I think were pretty interchangeable. Cod, halibut, haddock. I think I put halibut. You know what? I'll put it like that. I do have soul, I think. I think soul is this one. Okay, we'll go, we'll do soul because actually soul for me, not the biggest fan of. Eh, I put it below all of those. Very meh. Souls are S tier. Oh my God. Whoops. I'm going to hell. I could see both cod and haddock going up to B possibly. This is kind of a weighted scale of like C's doesn't mean it's bad. It's just kind of the average right now. Next, we got catfish. I don't think I've ever had catfish now that I think about it. That's a very more Southern thing, though catfish I do not know. Catfish is good, especially blackened. Oh, let's uh, let's do this one next. Calamari, squid. Mm, we like squid. Definitely B tier or higher. However, I think good calamari could be high up there. However, I think a lot of it does turn out meh. I think they could be really good. They're just never done well very often. I went, one place I went to recently did it really good, and then other places it's just a little rubbery maybe a little meh definitely b for me i'm gonna keep it at b but i can understand why it goes lower sometimes it's very plain a perfectly prepared squid probably couldn't break past c tier interesting i wouldn't agree with that but we're all entitled to our opinions right all right tuna we got tuna tuna by itself like canned tuna. this is canned tuna by the way we'll get to real tuna don't you worry canned tuna gross like, it's kind of gross on its own. Yeah, I think kind of canned tuna is a little yucky. I think you can make it up higher. You can make it better. If you make like tuna salad, I like more. Or if you do a spicy tuna with some hot sauce in it, then it, I think it can jump it up maybe to C tier, but canned tuna, yeah, D, eh. Canned tuna is yuck. Sea tuna with a sweet and spicy sauce is amazing, which is why which is why, Pablo, I took the courtesy of having regular tuna, tuna steaks. I think tuna steaks, easy A tier. My issue is I haven't had many tuna steaks in my life. If I had more, it could probably go up. Still F. Wow, Annabelle. Uh, I'm going to go and just take this, and I don't think we need much discussion right there. Yes, can we all agree? Yeah. Caviar F tier. Yep, yep, I agree. Good job. F? No. What? Oh, no. You don't think caviar is F tier? I think I've had it once, and it was very much F tier. <laughs> F tier caviar staying there staying there all right this is just regular steamed clams um honestly regular clams i always find these to be kind of very underwhelming definitely higher than tuna maybe there out of all like the typical shellfish of like clams scallops oysters and mussels clams are definitely my least favorite. lower c tier high d tier you know what i'm gonna mix it up i like regular salmon more than those fish i think now all right not much talk about clams sticking in C tier. We'll move on. Um, crab legs. Honestly, it's been a long ass time since I have crab legs. However, I liked crab legs. 
Yes, ma'am. I will say though, I think if you did just crab legs without any butter, they probably wouldn't be as high as I'm putting them, honestly. But with butter, delicious. Crab is nasty. Really? Ah, oh, I like crab. I like crab. And while we're at it, lobster. I'll put it right next to it. Just because of how annoying it is, it's stuck in AT there. Old Bay and butter. Mm, butter, butter, butter. Butter delivery crustacean. Pretty much, Pablo. I won't be afraid to admit it. Crab and lobster, both are just vehicles of butter. Melted butter goodness. Do Naruto? We have Naruto right here. Um, shit, how do I think of Naruto? Where, where would you rank something that's like, it's there, I don't find it gross. It's got a texture that I don't find disturbing. This is a very weird one for me because this is more like, a, this is like ranking an herb in a food tier list, right? It's like you're ranking meals and the next thing you know, you come to herbs. Where do you put herbs with the rest of actual food? Because this is like, just like a very small topping on stuff. The hell is that? What What is this, Naruto? It's on, uh, it goes with ramen bowls. It's it's also the same idea as uh, these crab sticks, kind of. It's, it's, a, it's a type of it to my understanding. I find it kind of, Meh, it's, I'll throw it there. Next we got prawns, not prawns, sorry. Crayfish, crawfish, crawfish, there we go. Crawfish, I don't think I've ever had crawfish actually, especially like Louisiana done crawfish. Everyone says it sound, it's good from what I've heard. Dirty mud bugs. Pablo does not like anything that looks like a bug in the sea. Crawfish is good, especially sucking out the brains. Mm, brains. Yeah, I've never had, it. they look good. I'm not gonna lie when they're seasoned and everything, they look really flavorful. I'll throw it and do not know. Next, this is eel. I had it a few times and the few times I've had it, I liked it. Easy B tier for me. Also, I really like eel sauce, which I think I've learned is just soy sauce and sugar, which is why it's so good. It's literally sweet and salty, all mashed into one. Next, mussels. We got mussels. Mussels, surprisingly, I thought I would put in the same category as clams, but no, I've definitely had better mussel dish dishes than just regular clams. Um, How much better? I don't know, actually. I don't I don't want to say it's better than salmon. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to move salmon up to B tier. I'm doing that. The more I think about it, the more I like salmon now. When I was younger, I hated salmon. We'll push salmon up. We'll put mussels at the top of C tier. I honestly, salmon's just going to keep going higher and higher the more I look at it. These, these are oysters. I only have one specific memories with oysters eating them and they were phenomenal. I had those plain and oh my God, I couldn't stop eating them. Good dinosaur booger. <laughs> they kind of are booger-like, aren't they? Dude, you just slurp them out of the shell. <laughs> now that you said dinosaur burger, I'm gonna move them down to B tier. I'll put them above shrimp, because I think I prefer... Mm. All right, there. Better. There we go. <laughs> One time we had oysters. I was at a catering event and they had like an oyster bar, which we like never do. So yeah, and not many people ate it at all. So I was cleaning up the station. Like it was like completely separate. And I was just like... <laughs> in the trash <laughs> shell in the trash <laughs> shell in the trash i ate like 10 oysters that day but it, pablo you're absolutely right now that you say that it's a it's a dinosaur booger all right next yellow perch i throw it around there nothing special we really don't buy it here we i've just had it from the few times we've caught it from the lake it was fine nothing great nothing terrible which also why don't i go up here trout just slightly better perch actually you know what there purely average exact yeah trout trout more is like a memory of like going fishing with my dad and grandpa out put in Vermont and catching it and then scaling it out in the garage and gutting them there. There's a lot of fish in your in your C tier. There is a lot of fish in my C tier. Anyways, next, puffer fish. Never had puffer fish. Ah, I love that picture though. It's a great looking puffer fish. Moving on, sardines. I want to put sardines in F tier just for the the rating they're given, but I don't think I've ever had actual sardines. I don't want to weigh in on sardines. I feel like they're usually like not well received. More bait. Yep. I should try them sometime. I bet I would find them okay. Next, scallops. Instant S tier. <laughs> okay, that might be a little too much, but those scallops look so good. I like scallops a lot. Especially if you take scallops, if you take a scallop, pan seared scallops, and then you wrap them in bacon, and then you put a toothpick through them, and then you put maple syrup on it. Vermont maple syrup. Delicious. What do you mean no? Just no, chef. What? No, Annabelle, you could say no all you want. Oh my God, no, America, no. No, 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 no. You could say no all you want until you've tried it. You don't understand. It is amazing. If you can pan sear scallops and then cook some bacon, throw away the scallops, you'll have delicious bacon. <laughs> bacon and syrup makes everything good. It, no, right? It's delicious. S tier. S tier, S tier, S tier. I can eat an entire pan of scallops with bacon. I can just eat a whole thing of scallops. Who am I kidding? Anyways, next, shark. 
I don't know if shark's even common. I just thought of it. I've never had of it. No octopus, but shark. Ah, uh, octopus, squid. What's the difference? They have tentacles. Striper bass. I've never had striper. Never had striper bass. I don't think anyone really has. I don't even know if that's a common thing to eat. I don't know. Throwing it in there. Do not know. Low C. I, I, I take your word for it, Pablo. I find, I think most bass aren't that good from what I hear. Moving on. Imitation crab. We know Randy doesn't like this stuff. I do like it a bit, but where to put it, I actually don't know. I think it goes somewhere around there. It's whatever. If you mash it up into a seafood salad with like some melted butter. Hmm. It's like a plastic turd. I guess it is, yeah. Imitation turd at best. T for trash tier. Also, what is this doing up here? I don't think I like this at all. Down there. That seems better. Uh, next. This was just supposed to represent sushi as a whole. All right. So it's not the best indication of exactly what it is, right? I specifically chose this one because I think this sushi is better than, than rolled sushi. I know, I, I should have done a better job of that, but then I was like, that's like a whole nother tier list, I feel like. Sushi isn't seafood. What do you mean? It's got seafood on it. Of course it's seafood. Anyways, sushi goes up there, somewhere between B and A tier, easily. So sushi has seafood on it, but it's more of a rice thing. Yeah, I guess. But nah, it's a seafood thing. As as soon as you put any seafood related item on it, immediate seafood thing. That, that's just the way it goes. You can't, there's no, you can't go and say seafood's like not seafood related. So pizza is seafood. Okay, if you throw anchovies on it, by that logic, kind of, but come on. Now you're just really splitting hairs there. Lasagna's, how is lasagna seafood? Awesome. What do you mean lasagna is seafood? Food. What are you putting in your lasagna that has seafood in it? What? What? Tuna spinach lasagna? What? I have never tuna pizza. Wait, tuna? What? You guys put tuna on pizza? And then to wait, what? Is well, I have never heard of a tuna spinach lasagna. All right. Okay. First of all. Okay. But yeah. So, okay. You're telling me you want to call a tuna spinach lasagna seafood? How do you not call that a seafood thing if it's got tuna in it? I mean, call it, that's, how can you not call that seafood item? How? It's got tuna in it. It, that has to be considered that then. I don't think I know a sushi that, no, I guess a vegetarian sushi, which is just a shame. I, I Sushi is definitely considered a seafood item in my books. Absolutely. Seaweed is also a seafood. You know what's funny, Vulps? Oh, that's what I forgot. I literally was going to put seaweed on here. I totally forgot to put seaweed. It would go into like D or F tier, but... I was actually gonna put seaweed on. I love seaweed, interesting, Pablo. Is it like actual cooked seaweed? Like the seaweed in sushi is just like, meh. Seaweed is good. What seaweed am I eating that it's so bad? Maybe I'm just thinking of regular seaweed you pluck from the sea. Oh wait, no, no, I did have seaweed. They, they were called seaweed chips. They were actually pretty good. I like the seaweed crust. Yes, yes, Pablo. Now, yes, I have had those. Those are pretty good, actually. The toasted seaweed, I eat like chips. Okay, yes, never mind, never mind. I'm just a fool. I'll never forgive you for putting puffer fish and a sea turtle on here. I just had, to, okay, listen, all right? It's, it's, it's food. It's puffer fish is definitely a meal, so I had to put it up there. Moving on, swordfish. Swordfish to me is like the king of all fish, like of tasting fish. Swordfish to me is best, like on its own, best tasting fish out there. It is so good wrong wrong uh to me like between i guess tuna and swordfish swordfish just tastes like a very very tender steak so okay pablo disagrees with my thing of swordfish king of the seafood what do you put tuna higher pablo if you do i can totally agree with that swordfish tastes like steak i think it does i think it tastes very like it's got a very similar consistency to it yeah a good seared tuna beats a swordfish okay i respect that those are both really good anyways swordfish by far my favorite all right tilapia i don't like tilapia d tier muddy fish the last time i had tilapia it was not good it's a trash fish i agree trash fish indeed all right sea turtle most disappointing thing i've ever had i had it i don't think it was sea turtle specifically i forget what turtle it was we were down in the caribbean and it was a it was turtle soup i don't know exactly what turtle it was but it was somewhere down in the caribbean i had to try it i saw it on a menu and i was just like oh i gotta see what it's like the turtle i had turtle soup not good at all just bland just blah instant no what does the gator go chef ah yeah gator nuggies are good i'm trying to think do i like them more than oysters also wait a minute 
I think I like Tuna more than those other ones. I feel like I need to balance this out a little more somehow. I need that bell curve. I'm like a teacher scaling their grades to make a perfect bell curve. Do you need to balance a tier list? This isn't, a, it isn't a spreadsheet, chef. You're right, I, I, technically I don't, but. All right, this is the tier list. Thank you for joining me.